Welcome to some Druid Karn. League just started. It's really, really bright behind me. Uh, I would love to play first. And this hand is great. Let's keep it. So we have the turn one sprawl, a turn two druid or to fairy if that's what we choose. Let's go with white. And that's it. So probably going druid on two unless my opponent's a control deck that I might think differently there. And just jam to fairy if their shields are down. And just at that point, just hope they don't have a force, and then I can uh, slow play my druid and finale. Um, otherwise, I'm primal beyond. Okay, so we're up against uh, elemental deck. This is sweet. Search your library for an elemental card, reveal it, shuffle it, put that card on top. Hmm. Okay. I'll just play Druid. And pass. I'll get a breeding pool with this Misty Rainforest, and I'll have access to all of my colors. And um, Teferi bouncing something can draw me, hopefully, into a win condition. I have the Vizier. I'd either need Vizier, another Finale, or a win condition. Karn, anything. I have a lot of top decks that are good for me. Sure. My opponent had a free attack. I actually wasn't going to block there. But, alright, we have the win anyway. X is 2. Search library. Get a Vizier. I don't get why people don't play more Eternal Witness. And... Opponent not conceding to the finale in my hand, even though I now have more than enough to kill them with it. So, don't mind making this a little excessively big. I'll just get a 40. No idea really what my opponent's doing. Um, a singleton winds of abandon might be okay. I think bridge is just better. Yeah, I don't think I, I make any changes actually. So, um,. My opponent's going to be bringing in removal to deal with my faster deck. And that'll probably slow their own game plan down enough where I can just grind them out with Planeswalkers. I don't think I need anything else. Like a Shalai might be nice. Um, but yeah, I think I just submit as is. So I was thinking for a little while how best to incorporate Oko into this deck. And I think I found an okay balance here. Let's mull this. Um, I got ramp. And I have, yeah, this is just another mulligan. I will keep this. It's a little awkward with the horizon canopy and the sprawl. 
So I absolutely want Sprawl, Horizon Canopy, Misty. I think I want to bottom the Eternal Witness. And the Call. I think Karn is my solution here. Yeah. So if Oath finds a Druid or another land, I can still get a turn 3 Karn. That might be good enough, like a turn 4 Bridge. Didn't need to name Blue because I have um, Oath of Nyssa, but... Probably, probably should have named white, actually, just to make it so I don't have to take as much damage off the canopy. No scavenging goose in my list means I don't have to load up on green as much. Alright. Oh, okay, I'm going to get elementaled. That's neat. Have a turn three win here if my opponent has nothing. Oh, this is enough a mold of five. Oath of Nyssa is a very powerful card. Uh, yep, sure. This makes me wish I had the Eternal Witness, but is what it is. <laughs> it's probably better than Eternal Witness. Sometimes you can just top deck well. I want to discard two cards. Is that what that one does? Okay, what do I discard here? Uh, because I didn't name white on the sprawl, I actually don't get a free redraw off of the canopy. I'm definitely discarding fairy. I think I also discard the Karn. I have more wind conditions and I have ways to find Vizier. Yeah. So it didn't really matter with the finale because that's technically one for both, but... So, despite Dismember, despite Lightning Skelomancer, and despite a Mulligan to 5, we still got there because of some timely top decks. Alright, 1-0. So this is the current deck list. It's very similar to my old one. Uh, it has less silver bullets main, no scavenging news, no shalai. Uh, I just think that avenue of being a have, having backup mid-range plan main board is a little bit less good right now. Uh, when I had those, Jund was a much bigger contender. Uh, Amulet Titan and Urza have kind of pushed, and Burn have uh, pushed Jund to the ground. So this current version is better against the better at being a combo deck. I have that Eldamri's call, uh, but I do have the Oko's to help me with that mid range plan. Anyway, Oko might just be better than Shalai anyway. Although I did really enjoy the Teferi Shalai lock. Uh, how good is a turn two Oko? I, I think this is a hand I should mulligan. Yeah, just looking at this objectively, I don't know what my opponent's on. Um, but I think I, I do want to see, this is going to be an experiment, this should be a mulligan. Uh, I want to see how good a turn 2 Oko is. Uh, 
Opponent mills to six. Now, this is not, if it was on the play, a turn two Oko would be a lot better, but being on the draw up against Death Shadow, turn two Oko might be a, might be a pretty real card here. Just go blue, so I don't have to worry about it. Somebody else hate when Reddit gives you updates. I really gotta end that. I thought I got an email for work and it was a Reddit message letting me know what is trending. I really don't care what is trending, Reddit. Uh, yeah, this is perfectly fine. I take my eternal witness. That's my hand sucks. <laughs> you took the Arbor Elf. Um, okay. Well, I think what I want to actually do here is play the Eternal Witness. Get my land back. Play my land. And Elkify my food. This gives me a better board presence and makes me a little bit better against a Thought Seize effect. This way, if my opponent thought sees me, I don't lose the Eternal Witness. Getting back the land didn't do very much, but it did something. I mean, I'm entirely riding on this Oko here to even survive. So, opponent did get a Death Shadow. I'll have access, they're going to play Tide Hollow again, so if I bounce Tide Hollow, right, if I draw like a Karn, it could put me in a little bit of trouble. Because I'll have access to two mana. If I draw, if I draw exactly a Karn or a Finale, um, that's not a good play. Ranger Captain is not something I really want to bounce. Unless I just want to uh, aggressively attack my opponent's life total. Like, I bounce the Ranger Captain, swing for 5. Um, I'm putting them potentially at 2 with a silent clearing in play. I actually like that. That's fine. Uh, is it? Yeah, because I can't replay the Ranger Captain. And Oko can deal uh, with, my, with their Death Shadows, I think. It's a little awkward. Good news is my opponent doesn't even know I'm on Druid yet. As of right now, they just think I'm a Bant mid-range deck. Okay, that's fine. My opponent is recognizing that they're not going to be able to recast that Ranger anyway. Denying me that card draw was that was a pretty good line because I was basically saying I want to draw a card. I'm going to give you back your ranger captain. And my opponent wisely um, sacked the ranger captain in response, preventing me from drawing that card. It was less about the second ability and more about preventing me from drawing a card there. My opponent basically used that ranger captain as a free thought seize effect. With the current board state, they were not going to be able to recast that Ranger Captain profitably. I'm going to fetch 
um, in my opponent's end step, I'm not going to sacrifice my food. I want to turn my food into an elk and just continue growing my board state. Sure. Okay. They can kill the fairy, uh, but then they're dead. Yeah. I cannot draw well here, huh? Um, let's plus you. Opponent's got four cards left in hand. I'm running 21 lands and I can't uh, catch a break here. Uh, so I just want to exchange these, right? Power three or less. I can give him a food, take the Tide Hollow Sculler. Um, what do I want to do here? I think I just want to Elk the Death Shadow, play a land, and uh, pass my turn. My opponent effectively only has two lands in play. All right. You get to kill the fairy here. And I'll just make it so I have very few lands left in my deck. Hopefully I don't draw any more here. I drew very well last game, so... Opponents conceding. Okay, before they actually, uh, if they'd waited a little bit, out of that, I was actually debating whether or not I wanted to play um, that Vizier, and I think I was going to. So I definitely want my removal spells here. Normally, I would side out a lot of my um, combo pieces, but in this particular case, my opponent doesn't even know I'm on Vizier. They just think I'm a mid-range grindy deck. So, with that being the case, I might want to sideboard a little bit differently. I definitely want this Oko. I think Oko is even better than Path in this case. Uh, Shalai is really good because Shalai gives Hexproof. And she also blocks really well here. I'm going to go down to one Vizier. There's not that big of a difference between one and two, especially with all the tutors I'll still have. And I think just two Paths. I think I'd rather have the Path than the Shalai. Yeah. So I'll have six ways of interacting with my opponent's creatures, uh, effectively as removal, and ten if you count Teferi, because Teferi being main board removal is really what makes, I think, Druid Karn a lot better than other iterations. Um, let's see here. So I got a turn one Arbor Elf, then I get to go Oath of Nyssa, dig for another land. I think this hand is fine, because Oath of Nyssa, finding a land, can do a lot of good work. Now, one thing I'm not running in this list is Once Upon a Time, and that's simply because I have too many things it doesn't hit. Okay. the I think the correct take here is the Oath of Nyssa. Yeah, definitely. I don't have any choice, but definitely taking the land. Of note, my opponent does know I have this Eternal Witness now, so they know all of these cards. And now they know all of them. Okay. 
I think path is probably the easiest take here. I think it's one of these two, probably. Uh, path, just because it gives me something to do on my turn with my mana, to Fairy, because it also handles Tide Hollow Skeller and also is just a very good value card. I think Eternal Witness is uh, actually one of the worst things my opponent could take here. Okay, I took Karn. It's a pretty good draw here. I'm going to take a Temple Garden, so a Shock. Yeah, I'm not blocking that. Now my opponent knows I'm on Devoted Druid, which is fine. This is game two, and I'm up a game. So normally I would not have kept into that single Vizier. Ooh. Ashiok. Why did my opponent bring in Ashiok? Why would they bring in Ashiok against me based on what they saw game one? That seems pretty loose to me. Um, I think I play to Fairy. So I want to bounce this Tide Hollow Sculler. Right. If I bounce a Tide Hollow Scholar, they replay it and take Karn again. Karn is how I win this game. So I want to be able to win with that. So I think actually what I'm going to do is just bounce this Oath of Nyssa. And then replay it, holding up that white mana for path. So I'm going to path the Tide Hollow Sculler um, so I can Karn my opponent. I'm going to path it on the end step. If they try to Thought Seize me, I'll path it in response. I, I don't really like this. This is actually perfect because it's not a Thought Seize. Mm -hmm. So they can take my Ewit or my Ballista here. Ewit's kind of useless with the Ashiok in play. Still does a little bit, though. Sorry, it's just, like, really bright. Ah, uh, sure. So my opponent can actually stop me here. On my upkeep, they can make it so I can't cast Karn. And they have one Death Shadow in hand. Two cards in hand, one's a Death Shadow. I think my opponent should, yep, make it so I can't get value with my Ewit. They're going to let me cast Karn. Uh, I will have one, two, oh, five mana. So I can Karn, and uh, I could grab a Needle, which is not good. I can Karn plus go up to 6, and uh, leave Vizier as a blocker. I'm oh, sorry, Druid as a blocker. And that, that's okay, I guess. I think I need to block with Karn to win this game, though. Uh, Karn into Bridge is probably my best best way to win this.
I can always go Karn into Worm Coil next turn if my Druid still lives. Uh, they are attacking to Fairy. That's fine. Tiffon's still got two cards in hand. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could lattice lock my opponent. This will go down to four. I'll be completely tapped out, and they just get to kill Karn. Uh, plus, if I fetch Lattice, they can just Ranger Captain. I think what I want to do is minus. Grab Worm Coil. Hope my opponent sacks this right now in response. Yep, perfect. And if they have a path to exile, well, we're in a bit of trouble anyway. If they have path, then they should path the worm coil, swing it, swing at Karn, and kill Karn, and go from there. Otherwise, I'm perfectly fine here. Team or Battle Rage doesn't do it, and if you look at their graveyard, I don't see any inclination that they even have path and if they based on what they saw in game one I don't think path is what they're really after anyway yeah so they can get lattice locked next turn if they don't to make this attack but by making this attack they're kind of killing themselves here unless their hand is double street wraith Okay. Not bad. I get to kill Ashiok and buy back something now. What do I want to do here? Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can finale for five. I did not bring in Shalai, so the, I don't really have any great Finale targets. I can Finale just an Ewit. Alright, for starters, let's kill that Ashiok. Is there any way I can win right now? No, and I already lost my Ballista, right? So, I don't have Ballista, so I can't win this moment. I can Finale. I can set myself up to win. My opponent's still got two cards in hand. opponent might just scoop here, but I don't actually have a way to win.
Make me wish I brought that July in. I think it's definitely a card I'll bring in game three if there is a game three. Um, Scoo's also be very good right now. Okay, so because of that, my opponent can stop me from casting Finale on my turn. Yep. Yeah. And they didn't. I mean, they could still. Doesn't seem like they're going to. Yeah, they're F6, so... I mean, do I get greedy here? They can do it at any point. So if they cast the... If they sack the Ranger Captain, then they have one blocker here, two, four, six, seven. Yeah, they would have been fine. They should have sacked the Ranger Captain right there. Um, and force me, and basically bought themselves a turn to do something. Find a team or battle rage or uh, something. Because I wasn't going to attack and put them at two and then lose my worm. That, that wouldn't make sense. Two zero. That we played Elemental and Mardu Shadow. <laughs> We're up against Grixis Shadow here. All right. Um, yeah, I think this is a keep. Um, I'm going to get the Temple Garden here. And a uh, fellow Modern Streamers League member. This is not a good matchup for me. Uh, the fact that he took to Fairy means he's got a ton of removal in his hand. Every color, I'm just getting another temple garden here. Double white is better than anything else. Oh, I'm going to finale for a druid here. And then I win if my opponent has no interaction. I'm choosing to search my library instead of just grab the one from um, the graveyard because this gives me more Ewit hits later and it also thins my deck for a potential win condition. Druid's not going to win me the game. If this Druid doesn't win me the game, the next one won't either. So I need to dodge any removal, any Thoughtseize effect, and I also need to dodge my opponent just killing me 
this particular moment. With with the team or battle rage, I'm dead. If you have team or battle rage, I'm dead anyway. Four cards in your hand. And you have stubs? Stubs would stop me. Um... So I'm actually going to bait out here. The stubs. And then use the finale. Okay, uh, he knows about the finale anyway. Um, does he have it? He's got to have the stubs here, right? And he knows not to stub Yoko. This is just an opponent playing a deck very, very well here. If this resolves, we win. If it doesn't, we don't. I'm trying to think of a way I win here. I have to block the Death Shadow. Do I care more about Druid or Vizier? I care more about Druid, I think, just having the extra mana. It's like, let's say I top deck a Karn. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's still not enough. Even if I top deck Karn, it's still not enough mana to bridge. Uh, let's say I top deck a Ballista. Um, one, two, three, four. I'll have a two-two Ballista. Uh, it's still not enough to kill my opponent. It's a lot closer though. Like if he ends up, if he ends up losing one life somewhere, that Ballista could win me the game. Oko's doing work here, but nothing that Teferi wouldn't have done either. Has two cards in hand. It's a tough, tough choice here. So if I, I can kill a Death Shadow right now by double blocking, assuming they don't have removal. Um, I can save the Oko but lose my board, and then Oko's will go up to five next turn, and then just die easily after that. I think I just accept this, let this happen. I'm dead to Teamer, Battle Rage, or Bolt. Okay. 
is neither. Uh, if I attack, block the Vizier, you go to one, I play the Arbor Elf, um, then I have to block one. Yeah, I think I just passed again. Not exactly top decking well here. Because then I'm dead. If I attack, then I'm dead to any removal spell off the top. Or a Gurmag Angular. I'm dead to basically anything. Um, Okay, still dead to Bolt, or Culligan's Command. Yep, Teamer Battle Rage does it also. Okay. Did not draw well. That Ballista would have been great a little bit earlier. Let's bring another Oko. Um, let's bring in all of our removal. Scooze is actually much better here. I like Shalai. We're going to cut all the Viziers. We're going to cut Ecall. We're going to cut my Finales also. Maybe not all of them. Yeah, I like this. In this particular matchup makes me miss the Ragtusk out of the board. This is good. This is a turn two Oko hand. Possible I should have played the Arbor Elf just to bait out a push instead of the Thoughtseize here, because Thoughtseize taking Oko is pretty rough. That sucked. I did not play the fetch land there because I have two forests in the bottom and I would like to leave them there. Thinning my deck is also the same as it's also not as relevant when you know what the bottom cards are. And in, these, in this case, I want those bottom cards to stay on the bottom. Yep. Come on, Karn. Okay, we are completely played out here. Take it. If all the mana in the world and nothing to do with it at the moment. Sure. Okay, no stubborn denial. So if we're going to draw Karn, now's the chance to do it. It's still better for me not to fetch, because if I fetch, I'll take one of those forests out. But right now, I have two that are still at the bottom. Perfect. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We can Karn and uh, play Bridge. We're weak to Culligan's Command, but we were already weak to that card anyway. And this just bought us a turn. We actually have a Lattice Lock next turn if there's no Stubborn Denial and if there's no Culligan's Command. But there's a K Command. <laughs> Dito, Dito has it. He's not putting up with any of these shenanigans. Yep. And that's game.
Yeah. Okay, no 5-0 here. Uh, but we have played Death Shadow twice, and Death Shadow is not a good matchup for us. I don't think uh, Dito loses very often to uh, creature combo decks with Grixis Death Shadow. Arguably the best Grixis Death Shadow, or de best Death Shadow player on the planet. Not going to beat him, especially when he's got a favorable matchup. Okay, up against Ini, I win the die roll uh, with a pitiful hand. Let's mull that. Uh, I'm on the play. I can dig for a druid. This hand's okay. It's not great. Yeah, turn two Druid, turn three Karn. If I hit, can hit the Druid off the Oath, is fine. So I'll keep this, and I'll bottom... What I bottom here? Opponent also mold. Nope, opponent kept. Sorry about that. Um, I'll keep this. I'm actually going to the, bottom the Eternal Witness. Dig for Druid here. No Druid. Pick up a Canopy Land. This way I can still just naturally hard cast Karn on Curve. Death Shadow again. Okay. Uh, this might be a rough league if we, we're facing Death Shadow three times. Uh, we're not going to win this. Yeah. Take my Karn. Take the Oath. Okay. There's an Ewit at the bottom. I'm okay with leaving that there. Opponent said they're intrigued. Well, I'm tired of playing Death Shadow. <laughs> okay, opponents kept a one lander, so I have a little bit of time here. Um, don't need the white mana yet, so I'll just grab a basic and preserve my life total. Next turn I got Karn. Okay. Stubs? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't really wait, because if I waited, then Stubs was a hard counter. So either way, just as a spell pierce, it was basically the same. If I waited one more turn, Death Shadow is most likely going to grow, and then it was a hard counter anyway, so just there was no way to play around that. Opponent does not have red mana, notably. This could just be blue-black shadow. Start with the Oath. Not exactly what I want to see there. Not attacking my opponent. I don't think I'm going to win this game by attacking my opponent. 
and then I'll fetch end step. Can I catch a break with these? Uh... With these draws. I can actually pay for stubs on one. <laughs> All right. Let's just take this, get on to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, what would I even finale for here? I think I'd finale for another Ewit. Buy back Karn and try to win with Karn. Again, I can pay for a single stubs here. I, my opponent's got a bunch of cards in hand. Counter target spell. All right. Can't attack. I've locked myself into that spot. So this is just blue black shadow, not Grixis with Drown and Lock. Just wait another turn. The only way I can win here really is with Karn. Oko would actually be pretty good here, too. Wouldn't you have wanted to do that pre-combat? It's interesting. So I actually value this Arbor Elf more than the Vizier at the moment. Not attacking, because I'm dead. Dead to double removal spell here. I need Karn into Bridge. Heck, it's, my opponent's just got to have a ton of counter magic in their hand right now. This is less Grixis Shadow, and this is more uh, a Delver deck, right? Like with Drown the Lock? Yeah. I mean, I didn't do very much there. So, same sideboard plan as before. Devoted Druid's still in because Devoted Druid is a huge magnet for removal, um, while also just being a good ramp spell to help me drop Karn on three. Yeah. 
John in the Lock is a really interesting card here. So I'll keep this. It's got a... This is the type of hand I'm looking for in this matchup. I have a nice turn one play. And I have a Karn, and I have a removal spell. Perfect draw. Now, it's not a perfect draw, but it's a great draw. Now I have a very good curve here. Of note, I'm choosing to preserve my life total more than um, to, for example, hold up path. Because if my opponent does drop a Death Shadow here, I can just Teferi bounce it anyway. Gurmag Angular drop will be great for me. Um, just be able to bounce that. Uh, one top, one bottom. They have stubs. They'd have stubs for either of these. Okay, that's fine. I will not pay for it. This means my next turn car is way more likely to get resolved. Of no opponent topped and bottomed. I could have played Arbor Elf there to try to play around stubs, but that would just be slowing my own game plan down too much. Next turn, my plan is to drop Karn. If my opponent drops a bunch of creatures, I can play Elf and uh, hold up Path instead. Okay. Okay, Elk you, Path you. And I think I'm fine here. Next turn, I get, if I get to, try, get to drop Karn, I think I'm okay. Uh, otherwise, my opponent could be in a little bit of trouble here. Them tapping out signified to me they don't have another stubs. So that Teferi did, did his job there. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, this Oko ate up a lot. Uh, I think I'm most interested in either Oko or Karn here. I'm going to grab the Oko. The other option is I grab a Path and pick that up. I'm not going to play around Culligan's Command. It's one of those cards that just kind of blows me out anyway, so I'm not going to... If my opponent's got it, they've got it. This is not a great matchup. Yeah, not blocking here. Opponent doesn't have a Death Shadow in play. I don't mind attacking their life total here. I'm going to crack that canopy. Unless they kill my Druid, then I'm not. Because I do need 4 mana. Also need white mana, but that's fine. Beautiful.
The reason why I minus there is I want to draw more cards. I could have minused on my Ewit, brought back a path or something. That's a line maybe I should have taken. Like swung with Ewit, yeah. Either way, though, they had the bigger creature. Even as a 3-3, it was still bigger than anything I had to deal with. Okay. Not worried about stubs. Let's Oko this bad boy. And pass turn. Gonna block to protect. Looks like opponents flooding out this game like we flooded out last game. Beautiful. I just win here, most likely. Bounce that, elk that, and that's lethal. Okay. Let's do this again. Alright, we've stolen a game from Grixis Death Shadow. Despite this tough league, the worst we can be after this game three would be two and two. Even after facing three shadow decks, which is, I don't think our I don't think our average win rate against these type of decks is that high. Uh, I will say Oko has made a tremendous difference. Like that game one against Mardu Death Shadow was completely dominated by that Oko. Uh, this hand's perfect. So this is exactly what I'm kind of looking for here. I would love to have a path to exile. That's something that I would really like, but. Um, look, I have a ramp, which doesn't die to fatal push. I have a dig spell, and I have grind, and Teferi counts as my removal engine here. So this is what I'm looking to do here. I can't combo against my opponent. Wow. Are we seeing a turn one? No? We could have seen a turn one death shadow if they had a different color uh, land here. Go white. So next turn I can drop to fairy or I can go oath and druid. Opponent has no black mana. I think I'm more interested in oath and druid. Yeah, Scooz. Scooz is great here. That'll give me extra green mana for Scooz. Uh, I assume they have some sort of interaction spell like a bolt. No? That's why I played the druid into it. Let's eat that Gurmag. Street Wraith. I think I just pass here. No. Play a little bit slower. Playing the Arbor Elf just gives me a ton of mana next turn for Karn. And I still have access to extra graveyard with the minus one, minus one on Devoted Druid. Yep. Opponent finally has black mana. Looks like we might steal another game here. Culligan's Command is one of the worst things that they could have against me, but I've already kind of dealt with that with getting rid of the Gurmag Angler. Hmm. <laughs> 
No, I should have eaten one more, huh? This is what happens when I'm sick. Okay, uh, I can either have the green mana now or later. Doesn't really matter here. Let's go. Two, three, to ferry. Bounce. This, unless they pay three, sure. It's a cool card. Seeing lots of cool counter magic from my opponent here. I still have access to three mana, so I could drop an Eternal Witness. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm just going to hold up Path here. one has got a Gurmag in hand. One, two, three, four is way far away from it. Sure. No stubborn denial. Good to know. I think I'm going to steal this game here because I have lethal on board. My opponent can't play any spells. Likes my deck, so I'm gonna send him some stuff about it. All right, three one. The only shadow player we haven't beaten yet was Dito, and we're not going to beat Dito. Not with this deck. Let's chase that 4 1. So we have something to show here. Some big things I was thinking about for this particular list is, do I need July in the side? And do I need the Scoos in the side? And I really like having both. Um, I don't... I, this is a really Planeswalker heavy list, if you look at it. Like, I don't have um, the fourth Oko, and I, I still think the four Teferis is fine. I think it's actually necessary because of how good control is right now. Mystic Sanctuary is a busted, busted magic card. Uh, I thought about running a single Overgrown Tomb to run a Vraska in the side. I just think it's a little greedy. I don't... This is hand is very fair. Um, been playing a lot of fair decks, though, this league. I have not actually played anything unfair yet, so I'm going to keep this. Up against Antonio OO. Who moles to six? Dredge. Okay, I'm actually probably going to re regret not having that Tormod script in my sideboard right now. Um, in case I draw, in case I draw well, I think I want to shock here. Okay.
This way, if I draw to Fairy, I can still cast them next turn pretty easily, and I don't have to shock for the rest of the game. Sure. Conflagrate's a pretty good outlet for my opponent. Mm hmm. Blood Gas is a heck of a card. Perfect. So next one we have Karn. Unfortunately, I don't have Tormod script, so I could be in a bit of trouble here. I have no graveyard hate main board, so I am not going to win a fair game here. Uh, unless I lattice lock my opponent, which could be in line. Uh, Worm Coil can also deal them a lot of trouble. But without ramp, I'm looking at a turn 6 lattice lock or, or turn 5, sorry, uh, without any more ramp. I think next turn I'm going to finale for a druid. But they do have that conflagrate in their graveyard, which just would just eat her alive. Yep. Getting punched in the face here. I just don't know what I can do to not die. Man, that was such a good dredge, huh? Look at that. All four blood ghasts. I'm dead to conflagrate. Yeah, they pitch anything. So what can I do? I can... Die. Yeah. Let's not show my opponent anything else. Um, scavenging news is great. Winds of Abandon is great. Um... I like Shalai too, it stops Conflagrate. Knight of Autumn is interesting to me, but not necessarily great. Oko is pretty trash in this matchup. Makes our creatures bigger. Um, it doesn't really do much for me outside of that. Fairy's not particularly great either. Not having Tormod's Crypt is a real pain there. It wouldn't have mattered because my opponent had too much pressure on the board. Um, and I was just gonna I was just dead to the blood ghasts. Even if I dealt with the blood ghasts, I was just dead to the conflagrates. So I was just in a bad spot. Um, bridge should be good here, post board. Uh, Winds of Abandon is phenomenal, and I have a turn one ramp spell. I don't have a druid here, but I do have Oath of Nissa to help dig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch, play Utopia Sprawl. The next turn I get to dig for a druid and uh, hopefully player. I'm going to need double white at some point, so I think it's fine. I don't need blue at all, uh, because if Oath of Nissa are the only cards I have, I have three Teferis. Sure. That stunk. This should be a favorable matchup for me. Um, maybe I should have mulliganed a little bit more aggressively to get a druid hand. I was pretty confident that Oath of Nyssa with the dig, I felt like I had a decent chance at it. I think it's like 20-30%. Let me just get another temple guard in here.
Grab some ramp. That ramp will help me get to Winds of Abandon. It'll also help get me to Lattice or Worm Coil. Uh, without Druid, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to win this game. A bit of a little advantage going into this because uh, my opponent didn't know I was on Druid. They just, again, I think they they assumed I'd rest in peace, which is what they brought the Nature's Claims in for. I don't. Um, I don't have them because my deck it should be able to race Dredge. Not exactly what I want to see here. Because of scavenging use, I'm actually just going to name green. One, two, three, four, five. I'd be e-witting for that Horizon Canopy to buy it back next turn. I might just use Winds of Abandon if I top deck a land and then just use e-wit to buy that back later. I think when you draw Viziers, you don't draw Druids. At least when you draw Druids and don't draw Viziers, like, the deck feels a little bit safer. Um, let's go... Alright. So we're setting ourselves up. Next turn we get to Finale for Druid. Uh, a good draw would be Teferi, so then I can Teferi, and I think I might have enough mana to Teferi and hold up Finale. Do I have um, four, seven mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So Teferi would be a great draw. I can Teferi plus, and then cast Finale for Druid and just... Uh, just need any top deck for lethal. Because I can flagrate my opponent's graveyard is going to kill Druid if they get the chance. I could just finale for Scoos and then have three green mana to eat conflagrate, amalgam, stinkweed, stink uh yeah, stinkweed, stinkweed, conflagrate, and have a four four in play. That's probably a better line. Winds of Abandon might be a little bit too slow here. Because my opponent's not really flooding the board yet. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so I can eat one thing. I could put a, I could put a three, three stinkweed in play. 3-3 uh, three, three Scavenging Ooze in play, sorry, and eat the Stinkweed. That's probably fine. And then just uh, hopefully untap. Opponent's going to put me at 4. Uh, I go to 5 with the Scoos. Scoos blocks Bloodgast. Then I go down to one. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Um, 
Might have to Winds of Abandon here. If I top deck a land. Yep. So I was not accounting for that. I think I just need to flood the board. Block the two amalgams, take the blood gas, the narc amoeba. Block with the viziers, um, take the blood gas and the amalgam. Uh, so I take the Narc Amoeba and the Blood Guest, go down to one, and uh, finale for a big scoos. Still dead. Uh, I guess I just have to Winds of Abandon. If my opponent has any sort of burn spell, I'm just dead here. They're digging for it. 20 cards left in my opponent's deck. We've only seen one Conflagrate. Yeah, that's that's lethal too. All right. Well, you put up a fight. Alright, 3-2, lost to Dredge, but the good news is we beat Death Shadow twice. So, Oko, I think, definitely helps up that particular matchup. Against Dredge, we just never saw a turn 2 Druid. Maybe I should have mulliganed a little bit more aggressively with that second hand. And that first hand was definitely a little bit too fair um, for a blind keep. Uh, I was just basing that on, I don't know, we'd played four rounds previously with pretty fair fair setups. Tormod's Crypt might need to go back in the graveyard, but that's, I don't think Dredge is a big enough presence in the meta, and I think our matchup against Dredge is fine. With Tormod's Crypt, our matchup against Dredge is uh, slam dunk. We didn't lattice lock anyone this entire league. Um, we started the league off with actually getting some druid kills in there. Um, then we weren't able to because of Grix's Death Shadows. Teferi overperformed, Oko overperformed, Karn, um, would have won us a game against Dito if it wasn't for Culligan's command. So I think I think the deck's solid. I think Oko adds another level or element to the deck, which is pretty sweet, helping us against our worst matchups. Also makes things like uh, Amulet Titan a lot easier as well. They can't race us if their Amulets are Elks or their Azusas or their Primetimes are Elks. So that's the deck. Hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one.